Right, hi, good morning. Uh, this is Astrid. Um, basically, I haven't been here for nearly two weeks. So I haven't done any sewing. I'm very disorganised. I'm a poor excuse for a creative individual. So I have to make you a video because I've got nothing else to put on my blog. So why not play with Astrid for five minutes? bought this book in Sweden um, a few years ago. And really, Astrid seems to have become a place where little ideas live. Nothing concrete, nothing that's actually, well yeah, it all informs what I'm doing now, but I haven't, for example, taken that page and made it into a big piece of work. But all, you'll see similarities in everything I do going through here. So these are the things that are in Astrid now. So I do draw from these things um, at different times, because if I'm ever stuck or thinking, what do I need here? What's missing from this little bit of work? Then I flick through things like this and inevitably it does give me ideas. Um, so it's basically little scraps of uh, ideas just haphazardly placed in this little book. So I'm just doing another one that's running on. Um, I love this little book, all these little insects. Um, I don't like insects, but I like these ones, they're cute. Um, just ideas running on from things I've done in the past, or little samples that I've made for something that don't have a home, they'll find their way in here. Um, it's like a double page with bits of paper. So this page, I'm just working on this here. So what I've got here, it's like a big fly swat. It's all in Swedish, this book, and I haven't got a clue what it says. But anyway, why can't they have a pretty fly swatch? So what I've done so far, I bought some paper for my sample portfolios. Uh, this paper, I've got some offcuts of it left. Uh, I've got loads of it left, but they're offcuts. I've laid a little piece of that down. And what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking, you all like this yesterday, and I put it on my blog, and a lot of people mentioned the colours of this silk thread. So I thought, I'm going to move some of that silk thread into this book, just to always have a reference of it. Um, so, and that could happen with maybe any of these from here. I could take a little bit of each of these and put them in this book. That silk thread, I've used it here as well. Um, so, you know, an aspect of one of these could almost certainly find its way into this little book. But they're the five pieces I've got ready um, for the sample portfolio. And the sixth is this one, which is in progress. And when it's finished, I might finish it tonight. It's not going to look like this. It's going to be, well, basically, it's going to be ripped up, but not in a destructive manner. You'll see it anyway sometime in a couple of days when I've finished it. So what I wanted to do, like I said, was put a reference to that thread in here. Now, it's not going to be any use to me. So I'm in the middle of um, putting French knots across the top of this page to hold this little scrap of very precious lace. I've only got a tiny piece of this lace. I bought it and it was, uh, I think I literally bought 10 inches of it or something because that was all it was. But it's vintage and it's very beautiful. So I just wanted to secure it with white French knots and then with you now add some of the colours. And I might actually write on this page, annotate what the silk is, because otherwise I'll never be able to get it again. I'll think, oh yeah, that's that silk that I used. Everybody loved it. I loved it. What was it called? One of a clue. Because I'm rubbish at annotation. And I think that's because I don't like my handwriting. And I think that adding my handwriting to anything like this is only going to destroy it. Right, so there's the French knots in white across the top of there. So if I fasten that off, and I don't worry about the back of these pages. We've been having a discussion in class, well, it was quite a while ago, about the back of pages. And we've decided between us... Oh, where are my little scissors? We haven't decided between us I've lost my little scissors. We've decided between us that the back of the page is equally as lovely as the front of the page because it's evidence that you were there and very often it creates unexpected patterns anyway. So I've only got three skeins of little uh, bobbins of that silk. I must have bought them at the knitting and stitching shop. And the Piper's silks, and they're actually labelled as silk gimp, although they're very 
not like the gimp as I know it, the gimp that I use, the gold stuff. But I've got a green here that I didn't use yesterday. But I'm going to use it today. Um, because it does have a lovely sheen to it, whether it's the green or the white or whatever. And just do a couple of these French knots because I don't want this video to be three hours long. I've got um got videos to make for class this morning. So I need to get on with those as well. So if I put my first one there and I can finish this later. But hopefully I mean I could if I had all the time in the world do masses of French knots on here, like a proper like um, what's the word? Um, oh, I don't know. Like a really OTT. Um, what's the word? Not a clump. That's too horrible. Um, I don't know. A forest of French knots, but not even a forest. Like a flower bed, but I just mean a lot. Like masses and masses of them. Um, if, like I say, if I had all the time in the world, which would be nice, but unfortunately I don't have all the time in the world. But there, it's looking nice already, just with the three on. Oh, what the heck, I'll go and do the whole roll. Um, then you'll have a decent photograph to look at as well. And then I could come back, not on not on camera, but this evening perhaps, and put one of the other colours in as well with the silk. So there's only one, two, three more to do. There's four down. It's lovely. It's really lovely. And the beauty of it isn't the stitching I don't think, I think it's the thread and I don't use silk threads a lot because they're very very tricky to work with and because I'm such a slave to domesticity not but I do give domesticity a nod on occasion I've got really rough skin on my hands and it catches on the thread um, so it can be quite a challenge to use so that's why I don't use it a lot, but I'm minded to order some more of this, just so I never run out. And then I'll have to get up and get a pen. Because who said I was organised? Not me. I've got a pencil, but I don't know if a pencil will write on this page. I could try. Right, so that's the final one. So I just need to write Piper's Silks silk gimp and then I'll always have that reminder so there that's that done lovely just love the thread um, I don't need to write the colours because I'm a very uh, well there's some colours that I stick with forever but if I look on this site there'll be 50 colours that I want um, so I'm not going to get stuck on the colours but, uh, so that's a little addition to Astrid so if I write it here Piper Silks 80 stroke 3 silk gimp oh yeah that's alright don't ask me what 80 stroke 3 means but I haven't got a clue Right, so now I've always got a record of that, and that's the first time in a long time I've done that. That's 80 stroke 3, this feels thicker. That's 30 stroke 3. So, and that's 30 stroke 3, so maybe I should write that as well. So, and 30 stroke 3, and put thicker. Right, now I might start to learn something. Because I've actually annotated in a in the proper manner. Okay, so that's it. So that's um, Astrid titivated a bit this morning. 